bad day at Castle Lock. News soon spread about the reconstruction of the old branch line. Everyone of the Little Western and even the Arlesdale Railway were helping with the restoration. Donald and Douglas were the busiest of all. After finishing up their jobs for the afternoon, the fat controller spoke to them. I've talked with an old friend of mine about tourist spots. Lord Callan has a castle, and the line to it has been completed. You two will be double-heading a special train of supplies to be taken to the castle. Donald and Dulles had their mouths agape. Did you say it? Donald stammered. Aye, he did, responded Douglas. Their open mouths turned to smiles. Oh, it'll be just like home, cried Donald. The trucks were waiting at the yard. Percy is hunting them now. With that, the twins set off. Percy had finished shunting the train when he saw the twins. Where are you going? he asked. Lord Callan's castle, Donald proudly announced. Bah, black look, added Douglas. Percy grew pale in the face. I'm glad I'm not going to Callan Castle, he whispered before puffing away. Scared old Nessie might get you, Douglas teased. Donald could only agree with Percy. He might, he muttered. Ha! Don't be silly, Donnie. Old Nessie's just a wee fairy tale. That is no Loch Ness monster. Donald didn't say a word as the twins departed the yard. Lord Callan's castle is located near a valley, and by that valley is Black Loch, originally named by Scottish settlers. Donald and Dulles grew excited as the castle drew near. Then it is, cried Donald. We're almost there, shouted Dulles. But then, there was a problem. The points between the valley routes were jammed. More trouble lay ahead as the two approached a down signal. Maybe we could find another way, Donald said with hope. But all hope was lost. It had rained the night before, and the soil was loose. An old tree fell from where it was sown and careened right behind the brake van. The twins were stuck! Well, that's sown it. Sigh Donald's driver. Sorry, boys. We aren't going anywhere. Donald and Douglas were upset. We'll never get to the castle now. Not so many, encouraged Douglas's driver. There's an inn nearby. I'll see if there's a phone to call for the help. The fat controller was eating a tasty supper when he got the call. Donald and Douglas, trapped by the lock. I'll send help immediately. Meanwhile, the twins were alone. It grew cold, foggy, and dark, with only the moon being their only light source. Donald was worried. He was afraid of the dark. Suddenly, he saw something approach him. What's that? Is it old Nessie? Donald stammered. Douglas laughed. Did it be silly? Douglas's words trailed off as the two saw a long, neck-like shadow through the mist. There's sure it is, cried Douglas. It's not a monster, it's only me. Doc had arrived at the breakdown gang. Donald and Douglas were relieved. The tree and the signal were placed on a flatbed and the tracks were cleared. The twins' crews came back the next morning and set off to Callan Castle. The twins arrived early and were ready for the workmen to unload the trucks. Hi, Adam, lads! called the twins as the workmen started unloading. Soon the castle was decorated and the grand opening was a success. A fine pair of engines you have, Lord Callan said to the fat controller. And a really useful pair too, the fat controller added. Oh, hi, agreed the twins. <laughs>